stable um, yeah then uh, it was a nice water level you know for overall it's nice you know we started off with higher water and then went to lower water and, yeah uh, lowish water but constant yeah. flows and that's always nice easy for parking yeah love the old boat this is like I think my sixth trip with this boat so, it's kind of wild yeah but, yeah, something about her keeps bringing me back. <laughs> I know Greg has told me that you know he has to take numbers or draw straws sometimes to see who gets to ride on Sandra. And, um, that was never an issue that with the numbers on this trip. It was a full trip, and folks at least wanted one day in her. And then there were a couple folks that were like, "If you have any extra room, I'd love to ride in her again." And. Um, there was a, an older woman, uh, Sandy, who just had the enthusiasm, but I was a little concerned about her riding on a boat through lava. And um, so I expressed that with her, and you know, you could see her lower lip coming out like, oh, I really want to ride on that boat. And, and I just, you know, how can you say no? I just said, we'll make it work. And it worked out great. And, you know, I, I like the serendipity with uh, folk, folks' dynamics, you know, when, when that. Uh, and it just comes together and it helps the boatman out too, you know, and when people are behind um, an event like that, uh, Lava Follies, you know, there, there's a lot of dynamics going on there. And, uh, and another cool thing I noticed about Lava Falls on this trip was we got to run it with uh, oars, the company oars, and, and uh, there were some dories there and our passengers were intrigued by the dories. and, and uh, I've, I've rode a number of dory trips over the years, um, but th the comments that we got from the dory boatmen about this boat uh, was really cool. Um, they were very respective and, you know, they look at a boat this small and just say, what happens to a boat like that in a rapid like Lava Falls? And uh, uh, I said, you know, she's a, she's a stable boat. I mean, the, the brilliance of Neville's design, I think, is the width of the boat at this portion. Um, when I was restoring this boat, uh, I mean, you know, the width, I just know in my head that the width of this boat, it tapers in a little bit, but it's 60 inches wide, which is wider than, than any of the dories running down here. So uh, because of that, it's a good stable platform and uh, um, good safe boat. You know, it, and other people watch it from the rafts, people riding on the boat, and if they're a little leery, she kind of dispels that they're amazed of her stability. So that's what's great about it. It is literally a trip into uh, yesteryear, uh, that experience. So yeah, she's a treat. Th thanks to Greg. He, he uh, for whatever reason, trusts me with it, you know. So. Yeah. With the old girl. Yeah. And you can feel the love in this boat that Greg puts into it. I mean, just all his extra little appointments, you know, the padding. And, um, but the thing about it is the, the catalyst it is, I think, for the rowing trips uh, for the passengers. Uh, I don't think everyone signs up for the trip, you know, just because Sandra's on the trip. But I had a lot of, there was a lot of comments from folks about Sandra and the Nevilles. Yeah, the, uh, uh, the old fashioned, if you go back to John Wesley Powell, you know, their boats had a, a, tra a transom kind of like Sandra. Um, small transom, much narrower boats, different hull shape. Uh, cut water boat with a V shaped hull. 
Um, not very good for river running, great for all the flat water we'd run on these rivers, but terrible in rapids. You couldn't get the boat to spin quick enough. So they were backing through. And when we do a back backwards entry nowadays, we call it howling, uh, where you're backing in with your back facing downstream. Um, so Nat Galloway comes along and other river runners like Bert Loper and figure out if you spin the boat around and face the transom downstream and row upstream against the current, it's uh, in effect lowering yourself through the rapid. Uh, and you basically you're buying yourself more time safety-wise to avoid hitting rocks and, and holes and things that could capsize the boat or break the boat, put a hole in the boat or whatever. And that was the technique that was used for the next 40 years. Cole Brothers, the, Stone, the, the uh, Julia Stone expedition, um, and, and other trips like that. George Flavel. Um, and then, uh, of course, uh, Buzz Holmstrom kind of took that idea of the Galloway boat and decided, well, you know, if you made it a little wider, um, which was Neville's thought too. Uh, you, can, you can add stability, you know, add breadth of beam, it's called. Just widen out the boat, still keep the boat flat bottom, add more rocker, which is the, the floor planing up stem and stern, which adds more st spinability when you're facing your danger and trying to maneuver around rocks. Um, that combination um, helped uh, the boats keep the boats less tippy and more maneuverable and uh, this is of course carried on. Neville sticks this idea, adds more breadth of beam and uh, then it's, at that point it goes to inflatable boats basically after Neville's and then Martin kind of retrogrades, retrogrades it a bit with uh, the thought of bringing dories on, on river trips uh, after inflatables had come out. So, that was brilliant too because the dories have more uh, freeboard or space above the water so that so the boats don't swamp as easily like these Neville's boats uh, did. Um, it's often in a big rapid you'll fill up this whole cockpit area which you know nowadays is part of the fun, <laughs> the bailing part to a degree where it doesn't uh, affect your safety but uh, um, Martin takes the dory and puts decks on the dories and um, shows the boats. He, he liked, liked the wooden boat concept of showing folks, folks the canyon in a wood boat. Um, and he, his first trip was in a Neville's boat when he was a reporter. So there's that evolutionary connection of, of uh, taking a wood, wood boat idea and expounding on that. Uh, and. Uh, it's, it's uh, tied together really well that way. You know, I like that, that aspect of um, Not only did Neville start commercial river running and, and make the, the public realize that it was actually uh, a semi-safe way to travel and, and uh, go on an expedition, but uh, uh, it wasn't uh, this danger river concept so much anymore. Yeah, kudos to Neville's for starting.